So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a video, a uh, two player fighting game. So one of our subscribers recommended us to do this. He gave us this idea to do this. So we'll give him a shout out here. And this game took 20 hours to make, so it was pretty difficult. So this is how it looks like. P players will be able to select their characters. So the um, orange team, which is player one, will be able to select from these two. And the green team, which is the player two, will be able to select from these two characters. And they are allowed to select the desert map or the graveyard map. And so today we'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. So we can learn broadcasting messages, the custom sprites, like the drawing drawing sprites and we'll get custom blocks we'll can, we're going to do loops like forever loops stuff like that we can do co change color effects so when they get damaged they will change the color effect and for variables we will do them for all sprites and for this sprite only we'll have we'll use both of them and this is important you must complete first complete our tutorial on the simple platformer game um in order to work on this game and these are the two websites you can go to to um get the sprites for this game so let's go here show you guys how the game works so let's play so my brother is here to play with me hi everyone so i will pick the genie which one do you want to pick i'll pick the ninja and also if you don't pick if um they both don't pick one it'll say players please select your character so you want ninja mm -hmm. yeah and which now uh it's fine I don't know. see uh, when you check one the other one does not check so you cannot select them both let's just pick the graveyard okay mm -hmm. you can also double jump double jump so for the player one the controls is f and g you can change it, of course. And for the genie and WASD, um, the genie is arrow keys and zero and nine. So zero, it throws a fireball, I guess, and one, it will shoot a little bit magic. When you get the gem, it'll give you a shield. And that I won't be able to affect him. Yeah, it'll do no damage. And you can slide. The player one can slide if you press the down button. But the genie and the dragon cannot slide. Um, there, there's a attack for the ninja, the sword. The ninja can also yeah, throw like an eye. Oh, there's a shield. It can double jump. Oh no, you got the shield. When they have a shield, they will not be affected by any incoming damage. Huh? Okay. So, so when you uh, win, they will die, and a tombstone will show up. So you basically won. That's your mark of winning. So there's also um, we'll try another. I'll use the treasure hunter this time, and my brother will use the um, dragon. dragon, and we'll do this map, the desert map. So, so each character will do the same damage, but they have different attacking strategies. So the treasure hunter has a slower attack speed than the dragon and the genie. I'm gonna go get the gem. You shoot fire out of the dragon. The dragon will shoot fire out and of his mouth. And then his um, the, uh, um, close range attack is scratching. The, the um, treasure hunter uses a gun to shoot. And uh, the knights are a little bit bigger. The bullets, uh, no, yeah, that's it. And you're dead. And a tombstone will show up. So yeah, that's pretty much the game we haven't added the player one and player two win yet like we can make like a win screen we can do that later in the tutorial so as I said you have to um, be done with the simple platformer game the one where you can go around and grab the gems this one so I know I think you've all done this one so let me make a copy of this. Uh, save as a copy. So 
I'm gonna be loading up all the. We can name this into the two player fighting game. So, two player fighting game, and I'll just upload all the sprites from the backpack. Oh. So, upload the platforms. Let's wait a little. So now I'll teach you guys how to, how the platform is done. So we will just like, you can just take out one of them cause it'll, cause we still have the double jump. It'll give it more room so you can double jump easy, easier. And we don't need any of these. You can just delete them all. So all we need is this one. Since we have another platform that with all the decoration and stuff, um, we can just delete the other one. But if you have not, and then we will also work on uh, this graveyard platform later in the newer videos, in the next videos. So we don't need this platform, so we can just delete it. So we have platform two, we can just name it platforms. Rename it, yes. So we have the sign, we don't need it because it's already in the backdrop. We don't need the bush either because it's already in the backdrop. And finally, we don't need the tree, I think. Because I think, yeah, it's loaded in the backdrop also. So now we will have to rename all the costumes for it. Like the ninja girl, we put NG in the front. So later we can like join it with the variable. So we can, so when it clicks on it, it will choose that character. Like all of these have NG and the dragon has DRG in the front. See, it says DRG in the front. So since we have 10 costumes for run for the um, ninja girl, We'll also need 10 for the dragon, but the dragon has initially only four, I think, for the running. So you'll have to duplicate some of the costumes to make it 10. See, it only has four um, moving. Walk, no, there's five. Yeah, sorry. There's five walk dragon costumes, so you have to duplicate five more. We will also have to match the name for the dragons. Like the run, jump, attack. We can just put numbers, underscore number behind them. So that we can use a loop to go through. So as you can see, we just wrote DRG run and then put underscore the number behind it. And then we have the jump. The jump costume is basically the attack costume. We use the same one, just duplicate it. I will show you guys now how to um, make the costumes for the sprites. I put, I know you guys can't see it, but we put tape on our screen so we can like proportion the sprites correctly. Um, we want the sprites to be the same size. So when you play the game, um, the costumes will be the same size. So I put tape right here on the top, two pieces of tape on the side. And then one tape for the bottom, one piece of tape for the bottom. So that's how you're gonna position it. So now we're gonna show you guys how to do it. So we're gonna upload a costume. So just gotta get it. So we can just use the Medusa for now. The Medusa costume. As you can see, this Medusa is very small compared to the dragon. So we have to proportion it correctly, the same size. So we first we convert, convert to vector so you can um, select the whole thing. 
So we select it and we just drag on the sides. Never drag on the bottom or the sides or it can mess up the proportion. So you want to drag on the sides, corner, the corner sides. So you want to, so remember we have tape on our screen that you cannot see. We want to put the um, top of it touching the piece of tape, the bottom of the sprite touching the bottom of the tape and the sides touching the side of the tape. So you know it's perfectly proportioned. So if you show it, the Medusa is that big. And if we show the dragon, it's about the same size. And the Ninja Girl is also about the same size. So this is this is pretty good for the Medusa. So you have to so I did one example. You have to do this for all the all the costumes. So it may be a little tedious, but you're still gonna have to do it for the costumes. We did it for all these costumes. So we have one idle costume, 10 runs, 10 run costumes. Um, and then we have one, we have a jump costumes. We have 10 of them, I believe. Yeah, we have 10 jump costumes. Then we have some attack costumes. This is the sword attack costume. And we have also 10 of those. And then we have 10 throwing costumes. This is to throw the knife. And then we have the slide costumes. 10, 10 slide costumes as well. And then we have the dead costume. So when the ninja dies, it will lay down. We also have 10, I think. Yeah. Then we have the tombstone. So when the character dies, the tombstone will switch the costume to the tombstone. Remember, you also have to adjust the tombstone size as well with the other costumes. The dragon, since we have less uh, movement costumes, we had to duplicate some. Like the jump ones, we had to duplicate some. Attack and jump are the same costumes. Even though they are the same, we still have to rename it to attack and jump. So we can use it in a loop in the future. And then we have the throw, which is the shooting fireball. And this is the dragon dead. Which also has 10 costumes. To match the ninja girl. You always have to have the same amount of costumes. And then we will delete this one. So... So for now, I'm going to duplicate all the code from the treasure hunter into the player one. So, so I'm going to drag all this code into the player one from the treasure hunter. So remember, if you want to duplicate your code, just drag it. And finally, so we are done with all the code and just separate it. Uh, so that's a lot of code. Zoom out. I'm dragging all this code over here because it's I've already done it. So if you guys have not done it, you guys have to work on the costumes first. Oops, so separate all of it. Okay, so this is all the code. When I play it, it will not actually work yet because we don't have the code yet. Because these numbers are different and we will work on that in the next video maybe. So we will start stop here. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And... I'll see you guys in the next video.